Hi, my name's Delan Jones. I'm the Timber Operations Manager for the Cumamanir RDP funded project Woodlab Pren. It's based in Abbaragoid in a workshop on the Bowen Industrial Estate where we also have a little office. Managing the regional woodlands is important for a number of reasons for sustainability, environmental issues, and also job creation. Woodlab Pren project works with landowners, foresters, and other associated businesses to see businesses working together and the supply chain working more cohesively to pull in the three elements within the forestry industry and the supply chain from forestry to manufacturing and design. The project also works with local millers to mill up the various species timbers that we have here in the region. We have examples of working with the local education ranger who's come in with primary school pupils with acorns that they've collected. We've been nursing those small seedlings for the last couple of years and they will plant those seedlings in local woodlands. The project has created a space for people to come together. It's become a bit of a hub. The project's been able to work with existing designers and also bringing in new designers to work with the regional timber and get them to understand qualities and the nature of that timber and how they can apply that to their existing designs and also apply them to new designs. One of the highlights of the project has been to work with a local carpenter, joiner and furniture maker, Mike Venables. Mike came to the project some months ago and was interested in Welsh stick chairs. So the project has given him the ability and the space to explore making a Welsh stick chair and also using local oak. The oak has come from Llyncaiach Fawr and was milled at the yard and Mike is now using that timber for making this exquisite and beautifully made piece of furniture. The Woodlab Pren Project's core ethos is to educate, innovate and to inspire. The legacy of the project is that local businesses have come together to strengthen the supply chain and local crafters and makers have gained skills that will last them a lifetime.